Okay, I was having a little problem with my uh, crossfire injection, and I'll explain to you what was happening. All right. What was happening was the idle was just shot up to like 1800 RPMs. But this is the odd thing. Now, I've experienced a few things throughout the years. I have this car a long, long time, like 27 years, 28 years, long time. And I experienced a lot of little things, little, little problems with the uh, crossfire injection. This was, this, I, I've had the problems with the idle control valve, but this was a different symptom. And it was, you know, I didn't think to look at the, uh, uh, the idle control valve. Uh, what was happening was uh, I would start the car and it would do just the opposite. You know, you start the car, it'll go up to like 12, 1300 RPMs and slowly, you know, the ECM will tell it it's warming up. Okay. And bring the idle down and, and so on. Right. Okay. It was the opposite. <laughs> I would start the car and it would start out at 800 RPMs, 7, 800 RPMs which I, I, I like it at. I keep it at around seven 800 RPMs. And as it warmed up, it went up to like 1,800 RPMs. I said, oh, my, what the hell is this? Oh, it's not the ECM. I said, I've never experienced anything like this with uh, the idle control valve or um, or any, any EGR or any, any you know, uh, so I says, all right, let's look at the basics first. So I checked the uh, the vacuum. I checked the timing. Uh, this, and the va vacuum was good. Everything was good. And everything was checked. I says, oh, this is weird. I checked my, um, my fuel pressure was good, around 13 PSI from, uh, from each throttle body. Uh, I says, this is really, this is driving me crazy. Now I have... Two brand new idle control valves that I put in about, oh, about 10 years ago. So, car doesn't get driven that much, you know? So, it's maybe a couple thousand miles on them. I mean, should I, I figured out I'll never have to touch them ever again, you know? Uh, the amount of mileage I put on the car. So, I had some old ones. I had, uh, I saved my old ones when I, when I did change them because... It was a combination of things. The last time I had a problem was I, I wasn't sure if it was EGR valve or the uh, idle control valve. So I, I saved my old idle control valves. And I determined that it was the, uh, I, I, then I tested the EGR valve and it wasn't, the diaphragm wasn't holding the vacuum and I just threw it out. But I like saving old stuff just, you know, to, you know, uh, to test, you know, if you're having a problem. Okay, so this is the idle control valve that I took out. Okay. When I when I went to just go touch it, I says I got to check the idle control valves because <clears throat> it's it just only makes sense that it's got to be that. It's just got to be. So, I went to move it. I went to go loosen it up a little bit, right? This is the odd thing. Had to be you can see it's brand new. Look at the pencil is is still nice and clean. It's, you know. So, I, I just touched it, and I says, this sound feels odd, you know? And I turned it and turned it a little bit more. This separated from here, from the, from the housing, the threads. And I says, oh, my goodness, how the hell am I going to get those threads out of there now? And I had old nightmares that I'm going to pull the throttle body out and uh, maybe tap it or somehow. I, but luckily, I was able to get a screwdriver in there, and I was able to spin it because... It really wasn't that tight, you know, uh, it wasn't, you know, it's not rusted enough. You can see it's, you know, it's brand new, practically new. So luckily it came right out. I mean, I, I had visions. Oh, this is going to, I was fooling around with this last night and I said, oh, this is going to be an all nighter. I know it. I can see it as an all nighter trying to get that out of there. And I tell you, I was so lucky. 10 seconds. I got a screwdriver in there and I spun this right out. Okay. So, uh, I took my old uh idle control valve i took one of them and it was the pintle was all black and i so i got a nice uh brass wire brush and i cleaned it all up nice and everything used carburetor cleaner and 
and I threw it in there, and it worked like a charm. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Now, why this cracked? I know I didn't over tight it when I put it. Now, 10 years has been perfect. So, heat maybe, you know? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if heat just, you know, got to it and just weakened it. Because I I, I couldn't get it out in one shot, you know? It wouldn't, wouldn't come out. It started the thread, and then it just snapped off. So this was a real odd one, you know? So if anybody's having a problem with the crossfire injection, I guess with any uh, anything that has a, a, an idle control valve, if it just climbs and climbs uh, the idle, well, look at the idle control valve. I mean, I, I, I can't remember so long ago, I um, uh, had a problem with the other idle control valve on the other side, and it wasn't doing that. It was just fluctuating the idle, go up and down, up and down. But this would like steady stay at 1800 RPMs. I says, oh my goodness. I says, I hope this is not the ECM or something. I says, this is, this is uh, nothing that I've experienced with this car, you know. So I got lucky. I got lucky with this one. I got lucky I saved my old ones, my old uh, idle control valves. And I ordered two new ones anyway. Got to have this stuff in stock. You own a car like this, you got to have some... Some on hand, you know, something. Yep. And uh, I'm going to change it also to speed control valve. That that also I'm going to change anyway. That, that's original to the car, so I ordered one of those too. This is that, but it's running good now. It's running good. So anybody having a problem with idling, climbing, climbing, look at the idle control valve. All right. Thanks for watching.